Hey guys, welcome to my dressing table area. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of my dressing table and um, telling you what I keep on top of it and what I keep in the top drawers and generally just how I use my dressing table day to day. Many of you will recognise my dressing table as being from Ikea. It has tons of storage space and it's just perfect for what I need it for. And above my dressing table is this amazing Liz Clemens print. She does wonderful tattooed ladies. And then I wouldn't be without my Revlon light up mirror, which I do my makeup in front of most mornings. I've got my simple moisturizer, my L'Oreal Lumi Magique primer, and then my trusty Max Factor foundation. And then I keep a selection of my makeup brushes in just a plain glass jar. Got my blusher brush, my foundation brush, and then a selection of eyeshadow brushes as well as my eyebrow comber. And then we've got my little eyeshadow palette area. I'm a big fan of the Too Faced palettes, they just last forever. Here's some of my blushers. This is quite a recent buy. It's a soft corally colour from the collection range. And then we have my Body Shop blusher in a beautiful rosy pink colour. I've had this for quite a number of years. It gets used a lot. And then my most recent purchase is the Max Factor blush from their newest range and this is a really lovely natural mauve colour. And I keep my little selection of blushers in this vintage trinket. Got some lipsticks. I absolutely love the Maybelline Stay Perfect range and have, as you can see, quite a few colours. My latest lipstick purchase is from the number 7 range at Boots. It's this gorgeous, soft coral colour and it's called Autumn Truffle been lucky enough to be using the brand new Roller Lash Benefit Mascara which I think is going to be available to buy very soon. This is the Puff Off Benefit Under Eye product and then I wouldn't be without my Too Faced Eyeshadow Primer and Candlelight. I think it's brilliant. And then I also keep a selection of eyeliners in this little area. Perfumes, I'm currently using this amazing smelling one from Lidl, which smells just like Coco Mademoiselle. I love the Dolce & Cabana Parfum perfume too, which you'll see there. And I wouldn't be without my tweezers for keeping my eyebrows in check and my eyelash curlers too in a bright pink colour. I just love these Perspex boxes, they're just so handy for keeping all my jewellery in and keeping them nice and clean and tidy. This is a Bjorg Acorn pendant which I got for my birthday, one of my favourite pieces. And these acorn earrings were bought from Argento a few years ago. I'm just going to pick out a few things to show you from my jewellery box here. They, these are the sort of items I wear quite regularly. This is sort of like a silver ethnic style ring from Argento. And then here we have all my Bjorg pendants. Big fan of the jewellery brand Bjorg. They do these pendants which you can clip on to a charm bracelet like you see here and you can also clip it on to necklaces. So I bought quite a few of these myself and then Phil also buys me quite a few of them too. And then I keep my jewellery and other little trinket dishes as well. This is an antler necklace which was given to me at Christmas time by Argento. Really pretty piece. And then on my little cute 
dish here we've got a range of bangles from the Karma jewellery range at Argento. And this final one is an Emotioni Hot Diamonds Rose Gold Bangle which is just gorgeous. I love it. So my friend bought me this lovely dish from the Matthew Williamson range at Debenhams last Christmas. And I put the little bow around his neck. And then in my top drawer I keep my watches. That's this is a little next watch there. Um, a John Rocha watch from the Debenhams range. This is a fossil watch I bought in Florida a few years back. Another fossil watch bought on holiday in Gran Canaria. A gorgeous Nixon rose gold and blue watch which I bought in LA in the summer. A DKMY gold watch. And then my Dirty Ruby Grandad watch from Argento, which I wear very regularly. So I like to keep my watches in this drawer away from dust and things like that. And then I've got a selection of other jewellery boxes to keep all my jewellery that I don't wear on a day to day basis, you know, clean and tidy. These uh, Mr. Kate Beauty marks were given to me by um, Red Ruby Rouge and they're amazing. I'm going to be wearing, I wore these quite a bit during the summer last year and I'm going to be wearing them again this summer. They're just a really fun thing to put on your skin. And then I keep a hold of most of my jewellery um, boxes there. I've got my Thomas Sabo box, my Copper Moon box, one of my favourite jewellery shops is Copper Moon. And then a big fan of the Alex and Annie bangle range too. So that's just one of my top drawers. I don't want to bore you with everything I keep in all of them. Um, in this drawer I keep a lot of stationery items and a lot of things relating to the blog. So we've got my little um, digital camera which I use for travel vlogging. And that's the, um, the tripod stand to go with that which I use. And then we've got my file effects which Phil bought me at Christmas to keep me nice and organised. And he personalised it with Willow Lane branding. I absolutely love it and I, I am using it a lot. I also use this area to store my notebooks. I keep little travel notebooks for everywhere we go to on holiday. This little box is where I keep my business, or not my business cards, but other people's business cards. I love to keep other people's business cards because most of them are just so cool looking and helps me keep me organized. So that was quite a quick tour of my dressing table. Didn't want to bore you too much with everything that I have on top of the table and in the drawers but I get so much use out of my dressing table I don't know how I ever survived without one when I used to live at my mum and dad's. I'm constantly moving things about on top of my dressing table and um, changing up the dishes that I keep things in and just um, just moving things around and keeping things fresh. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the little mini tour of my dressing table. I'd love to hear what your dressing tables are like, if they're anything like mine or completely different, if they're very minimalist or just crowded with stuff, I really um, want to know. So leave comments below the video or tweet me or leave a comment on Facebook. Um, but until the next time guys, bye!